Yes, uh, once again, my name is Teacher Doreen. Welcome back for our lesson. I'm going to take you through mathematics again in primary two this time. We are going to have a lesson in primary two, mathematics. Now, today I want us to look at something very common, something that you've been doing, something that we even right now at home, some of you may be doing it with your parents, late evenings. So, it, uh, we are going to look at what we call shopping. This is an interesting lesson. It is an interesting topic because it deals with money. We learn how to handle money. We learn how to use money. We learn how to get balance. We learn how to get change. Mm -hmm. We go to a tailor, we go to a shopkeeper and tell him, I want this and the shopkeeper gives you what you want. So that process is what we call shopping. So we are going to look at something that is involved in shopping. We are not going to go into details of the shopping, but we are going to look at something small about shopping. Here I have my price list. I have entered a supermarket. I have a price list. I have items listed on my list. And they are specifically what I'm entering to buy in the supermarket. So we are going to look at how you can bargain with a tailor, you can bargain with a shopkeeper, and what you can use to do to buy when you're buying those items that you have listed. So my shopping list here has number one, tomatoes. And these tomatoes are costing shillings 1,000. Number two on my shopping list, I have eggs. I'm going to the supermarket to buy eggs. And these eggs are worth 5,000 shillings. Number three on the shopping list, I have a pineapple. A very big and juicy pineapple. And I'm going to buy it at shillings, maybe 2,000. Number four, I am going to buy myself a sugar cane. And this sugar cane will cost me roughly 1,000. And lastly, on my shopping list, I have some sweets. And these sweets are going to cost me, let me say, 500 shillings. So, this is my shopping list. I make it from home before I enter the supermarket. When I enter the supermarket, I will know what I am going to buy. I don't just buy anything anyhow. No, I move to a supermarket with a reason of what I'm going to buy. So, if this is the shopping list you have entered with in a supermarket or in a shop or in a market, and then it has tomatoes, shillings 1,000, eggs, shillings 5,000, pineapple, shillings 2,000, sugarcane, shillings 1,000, sweets, shillings 500. Question number one. I want you to, before I go to the question, I want you to look at this shopping list and you analyze it very well. And I am going to ask questions. And these questions, you are going to answer them with me. Question number one, when I look at my shopping list, I may ask myself, what is the cost of the eggs? That is a question that I have posed from your shopping list, from my shopping list. Are we together? So the question says, what is the cost of the eggs? Look at it very well. You will come and see where are the eggs. Ah, eggs are item number two. And then what is the cost of the eggs? Shillings, 5,000. You will come and say, the eggs cost shillings. 5,000 and put a full stop. We always teach you to punctuate your sentences in all subjects, not only in English language, but on, in all subjects. 
So, the cost of eggs is 5,000 shillings. Meaning that when you enter the supermarket, you will only buy the eggs of 5,000. You will not buy less, the, the, the ones that are less, or you will not buy for much. No, it has to be the money that is put on your shopping list. Number two, primary tools. I hope you're following me. What? is the cost of two sugar canes that's my question what is the cost of two sugar canes you will go to the shopping list and you see one sugar cane cost how much you have to show me the working one sugar cane costs 1,000 shillings. So, another sugar, that means two sugar canes. We are going to say 1,000 plus another 1,000 shillings. So, we are going to add the one sugar cane plus another sugar cane. We'll see how much it gives us. So, one, zero plus zero is a zero. Zero plus zero is a zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Then one plus one gives us two. So, that means two sugar canes. Two sugar canes cost... 2,000 shillings or shillings 2,000 as simple as that as long as you analyze your shopping list whatever question they ask will always come from the list that you have made let us give another example how much will one pay example number three how much will one pay For three, no, for three sweets. How much will one pay for three sweets? You will just come on the shopping list and you see a sweet costs shillings 500. One sweet. equals shillings 500 so what is the cost of the three sweets you will say three sweets equals 500 plus 500 plus 500 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 5 15 so, three sweets will cost 1,500 shillings. As simple as that. You just put the mathematics, the calculation in this, these numbers. So, I want you where you're seated. I know you have a book with you. I know you have a pencil with you. I want you to answer for me these questions. Question number one. What is the cheapest item? According to my shopping list, what is the cheapest item? Write it and you answer it. Look at the shopping list and you tell me. Tell your parent, tell your auntie who is guiding you there. Tell your sister, tell your brother. What is the cheapest item according to the price list mm. what is the cheapest item number two what is the most expensive item look at the list and you tell and you see which one is the most expensive item what is the most expensive item 
Number three, mm. how much will one pay for an egg? How much will one pay for eggs and tomatoes? That's the question. As you answer them where you are. Number four. How, what is the cost? What is the cost of two pineapples? And lastly, I want you to answer for me. If Mommy had if mommy had nine thousand shillings and she bought she bought eggs and sugar cane. If mommy had 9,000 shillings and she bought eggs and sugar cane, How much was left? Of course, when I talk about the word left, I mean the balance. How much was mommy left with? So what are you going to do? You're going to get the 9,000 shillings. You take away the eggs. How much do the eggs cost on our price list? 5,000 shillings. So you're going to subtract 5,000 from 9,000. And the answer you get will be the balance. I want to wish you success as you answer these questions in your books. And please, don't forget to give them to mommy or daddy or auntie, brother and sister to guide you, to help you, to correct you. Don't feel ashamed to do that. Or you can even keep the book. When we are back from the lockdown, you can come to your teacher to mark you. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. May the good Lord bless you.